Sonko says yeah. you cannot beat him. He says he is unbeatable. How he, is he no how is he unbeatable? Because you know he appeals number one to this same youth you're talking about. No, 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 no. Sonko does not appeal. Sonko gives handouts. Now, I will tell you why Sonko will not succeed and cannot succeed and will never succeed to be governor of Nairobi one when I'm running. Hmm. Number one, no matter how much you have, and Sonko is not one of the richest uh, Nairobians or even Kenyans, but no matter even if you are the richest, you are the Kenyatta family, for example, mm -hmm. or the Moi family, mm. you cannot bribe 5 million residents. It is not even possible to bribe 500,000. Why not? You can't. You don't have the money? What? Be because you can't. The, the nature of a looter, the nature of a cartel, is to hoard. Uh, it's called primitive accumulation. Mm. Otherwise, they would not be rich. They are not stealing to give away. Uh, why are they stealing? They are stealing to keep. But Sonko so, gives so, away. But first of all, he is not giving away. I'll give you the example. Sonko is not a billionaire, okay? So he's just a millionaire. So let's assume that he has 500 million. Mm -hmm. So 500 million, if you have to bribe 5 million people, you know how much you have to give each one of them? He can't. He would have to leave where he's residing now, Runda, and go and live in Madari. He would not want to do that. So he can't give all his wealth. What he does is that he pedals. You know he pedals. That's what he does for, as his primary job. Mm. Then he steals land. As you saw, he went to Mombasa, and he has been called to the dock to explain how they stole land and whatnot. That's how he makes his money. So let's say he makes 100 million. He reserves 5 million to distribute, all right, mm -hmm. after he has stolen from the people. So he gives them less than 1% out of what he has stolen. That's a ripoff. They are all going to committee under my administration. I'm not going to play around with thieves. I'm not going to play around with the drug dealers. Drugs destroy the moral fiber of a society. It destroys the health of a society. It renders everybody like a robot. Everybody is a zombie. A society that is based on alcohol, drugs, and theft cannot grow, cannot prosper. And I'm not going to preside over a county that is not prospering. Tsonko has been saying lately that, you know what, don't listen to these PhD people. They're just, you know, all they do is just talk, talk, talk. Listen to a man who has his ear to the ground. That's all right, says. all right. Well, so let's, let's, let's ask the question, because most people are not asking this question. Where did this man come from? This man is not even a Nairobi resident. This man grew up in Mombasa, mm. where he learned how to steal. So he can't assume, and people should not just say that the man knows the city. He's not from here. All right? Mm. That's number one. Number two, Sonko comes here because he distributes money, little money, as I have explained. That is not listening to the people. When Sonko goes to a neighborhood, He's not going there to, to, to listen to them. He's not going there to educate them because he's incapable of educating anybody because he has nothing between his ears. He has not gone to school. He's gone to school. He's, he's got a degree. He has a degree now. Well, everybody knows he's functionally literate. If you listen to the video, and there is a raw video shoot of what happened in the Senate, mm. the man cannot, cannot utter a comprehensive sentence in English. And you know the official language in Kenya is English. That is the language of the Senate. That is the language of the National Assembly. That is the language of governance. You are not going to be governor in Shen. You are not going to be governor in Mombasa. He, he does not even speak Kikamba. He speaks some um, amalgam of Kikamba and, and, and Kiswahili mixed with some language I don't know. Mm. So, so this is how he wants... Imagine Sonko having a trip to New York where he's banned. He cannot go to the U.S. But assuming he was able to go, and Sonko goes there to meet the governor of New York, imagine how would they communicate? You see, this is what Nairobi has to think about. This man that you are saying is capable. Yes. How is he going to communicate with other governors? Now we have to discuss trade. No. No, no, no. Okay, or okay. we are going to discuss industry or we are going to discuss commerce. How is he going to read policy? Let's assume he has people that draft for him policy. He doesn't understand policy. How will he be able to understand, synthesize, 
articulate the policy so that implement yeah. it. Remember, as governor, you are like a president of the county. Absolutely, but in his defense, yes, he could be like the Chinese or the Turks or pe or the Russians. He could speak in Swahili and have an interpreter. No, but listen to me. It is not just about language. It is intel It is comprehension. Mm. Is the man capable of comprehending ideas? Is he capable? You see, the first thing you do as an intellectual, and, and here it is very important in leadership, you have to conceptualize an idea. You have to form it up in your mind before you utter it. Mm. Is he capable of thinking? Is he capable of conceptualization? Mm. Now, what kind of ideas can he conceptualize? Are they complex enough for government?